Hey Smarties, Blair Imani here. I'm an author, educator, historian, and today we're going to get smarter because we have a question from a Smarty named Dani. Dani asks, Blair, why do we have Women's History Month? That's a great question. Let's get smarter about Women's History Month. Get smarter with Blair Imani. Today's lesson is brought to you by Clean and Clear. We'll learn more about Clean and Clear and their Care with Pride initiative later in the video. So what are we getting smarter about? Women's History Month is every March in the United States, and we have this dedicated time to elevate and celebrate the contributions of women. But why do we need a dedicated time to celebrate women? Well, that's because we live in something called the patriarchy, and it literally means rule by fathers. It comes from patria, meaning lineage or descent, pater, meaning father, and arcos, meaning rule. So rule by the fathers, and it governs our lives. Patriarchy is reinforced by sexism, which is discrimination based on sex and gender. So it places men at the top and puts everyone else below men, and that is in decision-making, economics, leadership, and history. Just because we learn more history about men doesn't mean that there weren't gender diverse people, including women, who are making changes. The his in history doesn't mean that history belongs to men, but the way it's told with sexism can make it feel that way. In 2018, I released a book called Modern Herstory, because yes, I know that history doesn't mean it belongs to men, but enough about them. Let's talk about women and non-binary people who use she, her pronouns under the umbrella of herstory. But back to Women's History Month. How did we get here in the first place? Well, it all started in the early 1900s when various socialist movements were celebrating a Women's Day sometime during March. It wasn't until, however, 1917 in Russia when women gained suffrage or the right to vote that March 8th became associated with Women's Day. This was a very popular and took the world by storm as socialist movements did as well. And by 1977, the UN had formally recognized women's Day on March 8th. As women's liberation movements and feminist movements gained popularity in the 60s and 70s, there was a push to take it beyond a single day. And it all started in 1978 with a group of educators in Sonoma County, California. After that, a group of people came together in a coalition. Under the National Women's History Alliance, a group of educators and historians and people who cared about feminist history came together to push for a national recognition of Women's History Week. By 1980, they effectively organized for a national recognition of Women's History Week, thanks to President Jimmy Carter. And throughout the 80s, that week kept being formally recognized again and again and again. But as that was happening, the coalition wasn't satisfied with just a week. And by 1987, Women's History Month was officially recognized by the United States Congress, and that's where we are today. There are so many things to get smarter about as it relates to Women's History Month. And before we do that, let's talk a little bit about our sponsor. Remember, sponsors help me to create high quality educational content like this video. And this video is brought to us by Care With Pride, an initiative that's in its 10th year. With partnering organizations like Clean and Clear, Care With Pride is working to create a loving, accepting, caring, empathetic community for everyone within the LGBTQ plus spectrum. Over these 10 years, Care With Pride has helped so many people, and they've been able to raise $1 million for different LGBTQ plus affirming nonprofits, including Family Equality, PFLAG, and Trevor Project. And they're also helping to fund queer educators like myself, not only as it relates to LGBTQ plus history, but women's history, black history. They helped me create my Black History Month lesson as well, which you should check out. We're all here to get smarter, and I couldn't do that without partners like Clean and Clear's Care with Pride initiative. Now, back to the lesson. Three tips for how we get smarter about Women's History Month. First up, Consider the context. We've learned about the patriarchy, and now we should understand that it's not a matter of having a Women's History Month and no Men's History Month. It's that the patriarchy means that men's history is the status quo, and as we work toward a human history that honors everyone, not just men, not just reinforcing sexism, but truly everyone, then we might not need Women's History Month, but we're not there yet. So Women's History Month is a key time to elevate and celebrate women's history. And as a bonus, you can now tell anyone who asks, why is there International Women's Day but not International Men's Day? that there is, and it's on November 19th. Mark your calendars. Number two, take care not to misgender people. 
During Women's History Month, we elevate and celebrate all women. That includes transgender women, cisgender women, okay? Period. But we have to take care not to misgender people, which is when we assume that person's gender, when it doesn't match that person's reality. If someone self-describes as a woman, fantastic. Elevate and celebrate them during Women's History Month. But don't impose your own assumptions or misunderstandings about that person's gender in attempts to uplift them. This relates to people in the past and in the present. And third, be intersectional. Shout out to Kimberly Crenshaw for that amazing framework. If you'd like to learn more about intersectionality, check out my previous videos. Intersectionality is key. It means not just lifting up one type of woman, all women, people that express their womanhood differently, transgender women, cisgender women, disabled women, Asian women, black women, literally all women should be uplifted when it relates to Women's History Month. Take care not to overemphasize on American women, for example. Look at all different types of women and don't leave it in March. Celebrate women's history all year long, just like we're celebrating black history all year long, just like we're celebrating LGBTQ plus history all year long, because there's so much to learn and confining it to a month is a great place to start, but shouldn't be the end of the work that's done. So smarties, did you get smarter? That's the whole point. I certainly hope that you did. And remember, you can ask your own question like Dani did today by going to blairimani.com forward slash questions and I'll do my best to answer yours. Thanks again to our sponsor, Clean and Clear Care with Pride Initiative. And did you learn anything new? If you did, please chime in in the comments below. And remember, we're all learning together. Have a wonderful Women's History Month or whenever you're watching this video. And remember, we're here to get smarter. Well, Smarties, that's another episode of Get Smarter with Blair Imani. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you can be the first one to comment on my posts. And while you're here, check out one of my previous videos. Let's keep it going.